people have been asking when game when yeah, game, game. <laughs> but, like, te- but technically you know to the game will start tonight the orcs i'm giving a little bit of alpha on your Ooh, show here because no one go. really knows this but uh you know technically with the launch of the orcs and elves you know you will be able to raid and defend uh your villages tonight Real quick, the reason I do these NFT interviews is because I just want to I just want to humanize the people. I'm not really looking to get super nitty gritty, super technical, try and catch them in a in a whatever. Like it's just to speak and just to hear them talk and just to see what they're about. Guys, uh, thank you so much for coming to the channel. Thank you so much for liking on the videos. I hope you guys are enjoying all the podcast interviews. We have Sesh at Sesh on Twitter um, uh, on the podcast today. We're going to talk about Fuels NFT. Thanks for having me, Kate. Appreciate you giving us the opportunity to talk about Fuels. Uh, the community holds you in high regard, and they were kind of requesting that, hey, why don't you try and get on uh, Kate's YouTube? So here we are. I message you. You've been super nice about it. Uh, thanks for thanks for fit, fitting us in and you know uh, doing this with us. I percent it. So it's honestly so exciting talking to projects, talking to people on projects that are doing cool shit. I mean, this is cool. It's it's so fun. Like even even if it's trial and error stuff, like it's just crazy. We're in this little gold rush. And people are really trying to do something here. So I'm really excited to talk about feudals. It's it's a highly requested topic. Um, the only reason I haven't covered it in like a brutally honest review is just because it's a newer project, you know. And so I like to yeah. do that for more established projects that have just been in the space for a few months. Uh, but anyways, uh, how did you how did you get involved in Feudals NFT? Have you, did, you guys, did you guys know the people on the team or how did that all come about? So yeah, the, everyone on the team is super close. Uh, I, I've known, uh, uh, you know, Luis Sara, uh, one of the main developers on the team for for a long time, many many years. Uh, we're, we're really really close friends. He's actually one of the main people that onboarded me onto the NFT scene in general. And uh, we've been working on this uh, Feudals project for a few months now. Actually, it's been ready to launch for like two months, but. You know, it was just serendipitous. The timing w- was perfect. We we just, you know, actually, it's funny. Like, I was ready to go to sleep a week and a half ago. And, you know, we, we the whole team, you know, we talk on uh, the Discord voice chat, right? So I'm just on Discord voice chat. I'm about to say goodnight to the team. And they're just on go. They're like, yo, we're ready to go on this feudals, like, yeah. tonight. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to stop this momentum. Called an audible. We do. We the dev team ended up working like all night. We did like a stealth flash drop at like five a.m. and by six a.m. or something, we were sold out. Wow. So it was just just great timing. And uh, yeah, with I think the the market is super hungry for for play to earn games. And also want to give a quick shout out to our artist Malk. Uh, you know, without the art, yeah, shout out Malky. Uh, you know, without her, without her amazing art, none of this would be possible. You know, and so. It's just crazy, man. Like a week and a half ago, it was pretty much nothing. And now we just have like a thriving community that's like super positive and uplifting. And, you know, it's, they're just try, like waiting on the next thing that, that's about to come. So we created something special here. And e- even me, I'm just like got to pinch myself sometimes. Like, man, we, we really created this together as a community. Hell yeah, man. It's so cool. It's so cool hearing that. It's great to hear that authenticity coming from you i can hear that from your voice and you know thank just doing little things like shouting you're a fucking artist that's cool that that's i've never heard anyone like do that especially on video and, and that's why I, like, I think this this style of video and content for just nfts in general is necessary because i, I just don't see it on the on the um internet and so one thing that i want to talk about because this is uh this is a not a pattern but this is a thing that i noticed and I've gotten good at noticing things a couple weeks early before the masses find out. And one thing I noticed after I interviewed the CEO of Bungie Project, I'm not sure if you've heard of them. There's so many projects out there. Um, but yeah, a big NFT art focused, but a, a 10K collection style project. And it's really, really cool. And I interviewed him and this man was extremely fucking experienced, extremely capable, has done all the things, has done the businesses. The team is really experienced. And I realized after that interview, because um, I also interviewed the Doodles co-founder. And I realized that mm-hmm. these projects have something in common. They're likely going to make it through this bear market for a multitude of reasons. Mm-hmm. But the main couple are the fact that the team knows what they're doing and has gone through an experience, which is like a bear market kind of thing. 
And so mm-hmm. it scares me because all these new projects, all, even all the established projects, I'm not sure if you heard of uh, Mutant Cats, but apparently I've been getting all these DMs saying, oh my God, Mutant Cats, like their team's kind of like pulling out. They're not really sure what they want to do anymore. And that's a big project. Mm-hmm. And I was like, shit, dude, like how many projects mm-hmm. are out there run by people who aren't quite sure what to do? And maybe it blew up a little too fast, a little too big. I think Trasu Jungle Freaks, I think that started as an art project. It fucking took off and everyone was like, oh my God. Mm-hmm. And then it took a big fat L and now they're kind of just chilling. Mm-hmm. So I did want to ask yeah. if that was something that was on your radar or if you guys are new and you're transparent about the saying, this is our first project, we don't, we're don't, we not sure. Or So this is my first project, um, but you know the dev team is super, super experienced and you know they, they work well under pressure, under timelines and... and all that stuff like but you know i i am a photographer and musician i've i've been creating since 2012 so i know a little bit about you know uh community and, and building communities and you know uh uh on that on that end but you know even though this is my first project and even though on the other end the devs have worked on other things we are so committed uh, to feudals, especially for the long run. Like everyone is like 100% focused on uh, delivering what the community wants. And I think that's another uh, way that we set ourselves apart is because like every step of the way we're like, it's my job to constantly talk to the community and see where we can improve. Like we know we're not going to, you know, uh, please every single person, but like at the same time, if, if I can hop in voice chats or Twitter spaces or even answer as many messages as I can and figure out like what people want. And if there's an opportunity for, for improvement, like we, we have to take that. And I've been really lucky to have a dev team that can implement those ideas like right away for the community. So oh, yeah. yeah, man, it's, it's, it's just, I, I even forget what the question is. It, that, it was that just, you honestly, asked, but... you actually hit on something that I want to talk about. That's really, really great. Is that one thing that, especially NFT projects that are new are not focusing on enough is what you just said, hopping in the voice chat, talking to the people, actually Mm -hmm. speaking like a human being, being on podcasts like this, like you just taking a step to reach out was so fucking awesome. And that's rare. It's very rare. I mean, most projects haven't reached out to do some kind of long form content bit like this and all their fans Mm -hmm. are begging for it. And, uh, and you, you probably don't know this because you're not my discord, but people in my discord have been hitting them up about feudals. And I guess it's probably because of certain things you guys have done. And it looks like, you know, what you're doing in the community management aspect which is your which is your main position i I believe right yes exactly i'm the community manager yeah yeah. and i've been on the other end right so like when you know how to think from the perspective of like a community member um that's how i'm approaching it right so it's like any video game any other whatever it is like the number one concern that I see from the community is like, oh, why don't they listen to us? Or like, you see a bunch of, you know, you as a YouTuber as well, like YouTubers are a big part of video games, let's say, uh, for instance. And, you know, they, they'll they drop gems for, for certain video games or like expose exploits or say, okay, this is where a game can improve. And, you know, that that's like an easy, uh, you know, thing for for developers to be like okay we can improve on this and so a lot of the times when a company gets too big they kind of fall uh, deaf to those uh you know uh suggestions but it's like when a when a company does that it's like the, the people love it and so like that that's something that i've really you know um want want to implement in in the feudals project is you know first of all we wouldn't be here without the community right everything you know our success everything we owe to the community and now it's it's my responsibility to make sure that the community grows together and the only way i can do that is to you know keep an ear to the street like I, something i joke about is my pfp has a crown in it but you know i'm the true peasant right i'm working for the community yeah. right so it's like it's 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 my responsibility to make sure that all the voices are heard. They're they're just as equally as important. And you know, the only way that we keep improving is is to implement these. And the community is amazing. Like they're super smart and you know, like they they tell us ideas and we're like, 
thank you. Like <laughs> that that's amazing. Like we're going to yeah. get on this right away, you know? So it it it's a great uh it's a great situation for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's so great. That's exactly what I do with my brand. Like I'm actually running my YouTube channel and my whole brand a bit like an empty project. I have like a voting system and like we every now and then we vote on a video idea if we do a giveaway we talk about what we want to do and like as my channel grows that'll start to grow like the budget i want to include like a, a cut of my revenue and my brand sponsorships and be like what do we want to do with this portion of money and i think that's fun and there's only good things that can come from that and and honestly you have to be a mature human being and a mature team to be like damn like they called us out on this and we need to fix it and we have you know we have no problem mm -hmm. fixing it and that's the thing is that's not that common in projects i think and so that's something you guys are doing a great job at and there's that's a reason that the feudals got a lot of attention and if you guys are able to you know maintain some of that and uh, obviously it'll die down over time every project loses the hype at, at some point and you kind of just start to coast and that's when the real work is done um mm -hmm. but can you talk to me about the like the, the vision behind feudals like what is it that people are like i fuck with feudals what is that that it factor that you guys have that you're like this is our message this is our brand this is what we're about so First and foremost, the artwork is amazing. And, you know, we're, we're dropping more. First, we dropped the humans, right? Today, we're dropping orcs and elves. I put out a couple of sneak uh, peeks of, of the orcs and the elves, and people are super hyped because the artwork is just truly amazing. And I think that's the first and foremost thing that catches people's eyes. And you know, second of all is, is, is the team and, uh, like, what we're trying to implement in the NFT space. You know, we're all so early in NFTs. And then to, on top of that, to to play to earn games, we're even earlier, right? And so Doodles being one of the first projects, uh, you know, trying to come out with this this play to earn situation in the NFT space, you know, we're, we're carving out, I would say, a, a piece of history for ourselves. So we just want to make sure that, you know, we take our time and do the best uh, we can, implement community ideas and put our best foot forward by, by putting out a you know the best quality product that we can you know and with that being said you know with the long-term vision we realize the value that you know we've created with with this community like it, something magical has happened something special has happened and you know we we want to expand on that uh you know long after the game has you know ha has been implemented people are the community is growing together you know we want to get get the community together in real life make real relationships expand you know do merch whatever like really expand on the brand because you know brand is something that doesn't happen in you know weeks or months it, it takes years of you know constantly branding something mm -hmm. uh and that's that's what we hope to achieve with feudals and you know me and the team we're, we're 100 percent committed you know to staying this for the long run you know one of our lead devs sarah we were he was in the discord voice chat and he was kind of joking like guys you're stuck with me till death i'm sorry <laughs> you know so it's just like you know we're, we're here we're we're in it uh till the end and we 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 just want to keep growing and that's another you know part of where the community comes in right like they and what you were talking about before like community involvement is key if they tell us hey we want to pivot here pivot there we want to do this that we're going to listen and go with them yeah yeah that's awesome and i think with my channel since i'm based on reviews uh, analysis and shit like that people think that i have this like super intense you know like 50 listing of every project needs to have if they're going to make it and and truthfully it's actually not that complicated. It really is just about, are they willing to look at a long-term vision and actually implement a plan that is focused on a long-term vision with, you know, little goals in between, obviously you have to keep people interested and stuff like that. But if the main goal is like, oh, we need to have this utility function and this staking thing and this and that, and then they don't actually have anything after that, that's where the problem comes in because that all fades, you know, almost no project is making yeah. real money off staking. You're going to lose most of your money staking and unstaking shit. And so, for me, I was I always focus on yeah the long term vision. Are they actually implementing things that push a long term vision? And then, I guess like the work you put in on your branding side. So as you're talking about the community, getting people involved and getting people hyped because the most the only thing that ever really matters that projects like Dogepan are doing really well. I think Ugaverse is doing really well. Doodles is doing really well. Bungie is doing really well. Is that they're focusing on branding themselves in a way where people are proud holders they're fucking excited mm -hmm. they want this is the profile picture they want to be part of this community they get to brag to their friends i'm a fucking feudals nft holder i'm a bungie holder or whatever it is you know 
And exactly. that's hard to cultivate. And that's actually re- – it's a long process. Like I said this in another podcast, exactly. The Simpsons is not built in one season. The Simpsons show is exactly. built over 20 years. And so honestly, I, I don't know if many projects have thought about they're it in still that going way. So. Yeah, dude, they're fucking – going i don't even know yeah. i didn't know they were so good <laughs> yeah, it's crazy yeah that's what it is right like creating that force where you know that unstoppable force mm-hmm. basically right like once you get the momentum going it just kind of carries itself and we know we're in the beginning stages right now like uh we did the t- staking the tokenomics we did the airdrop we're doing orcs and l's we're gonna do lands next week we're gonna do animals and then you know the, the full game uh uh, I mean, technically, the what the people don't realize, people have been asking when game, when yeah, game, when game. <laughs> but, like, te- but technically, you know, to the game will start tonight. The orcs, I'm giving a little bit of alpha on your Ooh, show here because no one go. really knows this. But uh, you know, technically, with the launch of the orcs and elves, you know, you will be able to raid and defend uh, your villages tonight itself. That's what wow. people don't understand. Yeah, so. Um, but um you know past past all that like you said you know the branding it's 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 a long term thing man and, and you know we we just got to see where where the path takes us but you know the, i think the main thing is just enjoying the process not you know uh being too hung up on you know the end goal and just trusting the process enjoying the process every step of the way and being grateful for each moment Oh yeah, man, that's fucking that's beautifully put. That is so beautifully put. I think that I think you're the people who are in your community and even just watching maybe from a you know from the window, just looking in on the outside. I think they're gonna like what you just said. That was really cool. And honestly, like that's like that's a that's a main portion of what I try and and uh, get out of these interviews. I just want to know what is really on their mind. And, you know, are they really focused on the right things? And it sounds like you guys are. Um, and you said you were talking about the team and you've known them for a while. Um, Mm -hmm. and you said that, you know, this is their number one priority and all this stuff. Um, is there anything that I know with the art, it's really cool. But, uh, one thing I did notice was that the feudals are, is similar to CryptoPunks, but there's a million projects that look like all the other, I mean, every project kind of looks the same and all these things. Um, but I, this is a question that, uh, came up in my mind. Is there a world where feudals gets to alter certain things like a lot of projects are like you can write the lore you can write the title you can change the background you can change their shirt and stuff like that like is yeah. that a thing that happens in these projects or is that one of those things like no, no we're set in stone we, we don't change that kind of thing no we're we're up to stuff like okay something funny happened i use the term bud a lot i'm like thanks bud appreciate you bud you know what i mean like and so uh, a lot of people do it's a common terminology and so, some guy came into our discord and People were calling him Bud or used the term Bud and uh, he kind of disliked it. Right. And so people turned up on him and like started using Bud like way more, just like inundating him like with Bud. And he, he like eventually left and it became like a viral thing in our discord. And people started suggesting, hey, why don't we have Bud's? where it's like plants that you grow or something. And and uh, it kind of just took a life of its own. We're like, you know what? This this has become hilariously viral in our Discord. And, and yeah, we're going to we're going to start implementing. We'll do it after we figure out what we have in the immediate future, immediate plans. We're going to figure out and I've already thrown some ideas uh, to the team. So it's like um, I forget the original question. I get well, caught honestly, up. Honestly, it doesn't even but, matter. Like my question was just to get you to talk about stuff. And so the cool thing yeah. is because people hear me say this a lot. They're like. I say this in my videos. I'm like, look, just because they have this staking, tokenomics, this and that doesn't mean they're going to make it. What does matter is that they continue to do those things throughout the next year, yeah. five years, 10 years, 20 years. And that's dope what you just said. And I really like that. Um, this question, mm-hmm. we can cut out. Absolutely, we can absolutely cut this out. I just This is something I wonder because I just did like a... a yeah. Like just no, yeah. Just... The punks thing, obviously there is a, you know, an inspiration from that there. And... Uh, you know, I don't know if you want to include this. It doesn't mind to me. It's public okay. knowledge. You know, uh, originally the the project was called Feudal Punks, and I was like, no, we we the artwork is good enough. I don't want 
people are going to notice that it's punk inspired anyway. Let's not have it in the idea. name. Let's just change it to feudals. You yes. know what I mean? And I, agree with that. I think it would be way more because it's because it stands on its own. You know what I mean? And, and there's way more that, that we're offering with the play to earn and all this stuff. And, you know, we're expanding. Bro, I don't know if you've seen the preview for the elves and the orcs, but it's like, bro, it's so cool. Like, it's so different. And that that's another thing that we can keep expanding on right with the animals we're gonna have dragons and stuff and uh with the buds i was like what if like i mean some people were suggesting it but it's like what if people were growing their own little weed plants or something i don't know like whatever the community wants but you know uh the ideas are out there and and our team is ready to to go with them hell yeah all right well this this will probably be the last question I saw on the Ether scan of the NF or of the Fuse NFT that there was a, a a wallet with eighty three percent of the NFTs, and I just didn't. So that's the staking contract. Gotcha. I figured so it was we're, something like we're that. So we're currently we're currently eighty three percent staked. Gotcha. So once once you click on staked, it transfers to the staking contract. Understood. So that's probably what you saw. Okay. Because yeah. I saw that, and I was like, holy. Fuck! I was like, wait, no one noticed this. I was like, there's no way that's right. I have to ask him. I was like, there's no, no way. In, in the no, no, no. It's a common thing. Even yeah. in the beginning, uh, I clicked on like the Open uh, uh link or whatever, and I was like, who has all these views? <laughs> <laughs> like, You're like, and Yo, then dude, yeah, did you buy all these? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh so God. yeah, it was explained to me quickly. Yeah, that's, that's the funny. staking contract. Yo. Yo, and then this is a question that just popped up actually two seconds ago in my head. Because I've heard some uh-huh. people, some people on the team, uh, on on different NFT projects, say yes. Some people say no, and I don't really have an opinion because I just, if I had my own NFT project, I absolutely am minting my NFTs. I'm gonna mint like a few, a few, you know, just because I want them. They're yeah. my own project. Do you guys yeah, are yeah. you guys like holding a few? Do you guys like have them? Are you guys like rocking them in like shirts and shit? Like, absolutely, that- absolutely. But but the thing is like. To be quite honest with you, the community members have faster trigger fingers than us. Like, <laughs> we had a free mint. No we had the first 888 free. I tried to get, I think that our whole team tried to get them, but the free mints were gone in one minute. No yeah. one got free mints. Even the regular mints, I was only able to grab like two. So, like, that's funny. It, it's just funny to see, but I love it. Like, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. Like, the community doing better than me. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I enjoy it. I think yeah. it's great. But yeah. Like, obviously, and to make sure that, you know, um, I want to be right there with the community, too. Like, even t- t- tonight, like, I'm going to, um, like, I bought some golds on Uniswap to see how it works. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, get some orcs, uh, however, I, how many ever I can, one or two. Uh, uh, I'm not balling like that, but you know, like whatever I can, I'm going to, you know, go through the process with the community as well. Cause I want to be right there with them. So I love that dude. I love that. And it's so funny. Cause I, I, I I resonate with you when you said like, I tried to fucking get it and I couldn't like the amount of times I've told my discord, yo, this thing's happening right now. Go, go, go. And then I don't fucking get it. And they all get it. I'm like, (sighs) (laughs) so they appreciate you for it though, man. Yeah, but that, that is yeah. super funny. Um, even even with the orcs and all that stuff, like we're so transparent. We put everything up there, our contracts up there, ether scans, everything is up there for, for people to see. And every step of the way, we want people to be there right with us. Um, and we want to be as transparent as possible. That's like a huge priority. Uh, yeah. so yeah, man, like a- a- everything that we're we're gonna talk about it or talked about today is fair game. And I think some people might all, you know. Uh, okay, cool. It also, uh, it's I, I saw on the on the website that the team, uh, it didn't look like it was stocks. I didn't know if you were because you're you're here obviously right now. Uh, I didn't know if that was like yes. a thing or. So we a few people, you know, opened up their video chat in um, what do you call it? the Discord? But we have a meet the team channel where everyone like dropped their government right. name and their background and all that stuff and. Cool. Um, you know, our our lead dev even dropped his address and was like, Holy people want to come by uh, to to the office. Wow. Yeah, okay. got, dropped his address to the office, and I believe someone did come through to just. I check bet, dude. I bet the out. NFT yeah. world is crazy. I bet if I dropped an address, <laughs> yeah. someone would be in the same area as me. That's yeah. Funny. So. Yeah, uh, and yeah, me obviously. I've been fully doxxed from the beginning. Yeah. I have no issues. I like that. That, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, this so. this this will be my last question. I swear, I just it just keeps popping up. Uh, no, it's or it just fine, popped bro. up in my head. Yeah. Uh, 
what are your thoughts on teams that are anonymous versus pseudo anonymous versus docs? Because for me, it doesn't matter as much, but I think we're headed toward a culture where they do want a little bit more transparency because I think we're starting to realize that fully decentralized, fully anonymous doesn't actually work when implemented a lot of times just because there's so yeah. many scams or so many things going on and people would just rather know the information up front, you know? But I was curious what your opinion was yeah. on that. Me personally, like, it doesn't matter to me per se because there are a lot of big uh, community members in the NFT space in general, right, who who are anon Absolutely. per se, right? Absolutely. But they still they're still like doing Twitter spaces all the time or doing IRL meetups. They just don't want their face out there. Right. So, I mean, they, they play a huge role, uh, uh, you know, some maybe bigger role than some people who are doxxed. Right. Yeah. But at the same time, like I understand the other side too, right? Like once you are fully doxxed, like you kind of have your reputation on the line and e even with those guys too. Right. But, but like, even more so if you have your face and everything out there, like there, there's no chance for, for like you to uh, run away basically, yeah. because like, you know what I mean? Like your reputation is there and your, your word is everything, especially, you know, in, in these spaces and your reputation is everything. So like it adds that extra layer of security, which I completely understand. Yeah. I, I get that side and I'll push back a little bit because I think, if you were to be fully doxxed and you fucked up, something went wrong, I think if you have pieces like you have right now, like if you fuck up royally in a couple of years, you'll be able to have a few pieces of content where you're like, look, I'm not a piece of shit, all right? I'm, I'm a human being yeah. just like you. We have these exactly. videos, like you can tell who I am. And so I think for people who are worried about becoming doxxed because I don't want to get fucked up and lose my reputation, if they're transparent, they're honest, they're doing videos, they're doing interviews and shit like that, I don't think it's a problem. I think people are absolutely okay with, with issues and mistakes and they're, they're all totally open to forgiving them as long as... They have that person, that face. And I think the real reason, or not the real reason, a lot of reasons that I've actually heard about that people don't dox themselves is because just pure privacy. They're like, I just don't want my fucking face exactly. out there. Like, I just want my, my family, I have my wife. I don't I don't want to do this, you know? Exactly. So. And some of these guys are so big. Like, if you just look at their mentions or comments underneath, like, a normal, like, GM tweet or something, mm -hmm. it's just, like, hundreds of people yeah. trying to, like, <laughs> like, so I, like, I totally get it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, dude, I mean, that was a great interview. I'm, I'm, uh, I really liked what you had to hear. It was cool. I liked the long-term visions of everything. And I'm super excited. I mean, obviously, it's a new project, so it's super exciting. It's fun. We don't know where we're fucking going. We're just on this NFT train, and I just really appreciate yeah. you coming on. Dude, thanks so much for taking the time out to talk about the project and Feudals. Uh, really loved your energy. Like I said, excited to see you know you grow. Let's keep in touch as well uh, with everything. Excited to see what everything you have going on. And then yeah, tonight we do have a Twitter Spaces at seven p.m. We're you know going to be launching the Orcs and Elves. More than welcome to join us. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. Uh, appreciate you having me on. Bro. Yeah, man, absolutely, guys. If you haven't already liked this video. Go follow Sesh on Twitter. I'll leave all his links and I'll leave Feudal's links in the description if you guys are interested. Hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, continue on your joys. Continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video. Peace.